Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to another video with Brooklyn. How are you? It's Wednesday, y'all. It's hump day. We got two more days after today, and we have made it. We are home free. <laughs> so I just wanted to come on here and um just say good morning and just wish you all a wonderful Wednesday. And, you know, I was thinking, okay, I was looking at, for those of you all who have been watching me, you all know Stacy, the little kitty cat that was stray that I brought back from Atlanta last year, okay, when I went to see my mom in Atlanta. Y'all excuse me, my lashes like getting stuck to my lids. And um, so I was looking at her this morning, right, and I just thought about it. It could apply to people too. Um, Greed, how greed can get you caught up. Okay, so she doesn't like to get in her kennel. She doesn't like to stay, you know, in her kennel to go on trips, to go to the vet, to do anything. She just, Stacy want to be free, like, like most people and animals do, right? But how greed get her caught up. All she has to do is hear a bag rattle, snacks, and she come out of hiding, and she's trapped. She's trapped in her kennel. Wherever you want to put her, she's trapped. As long as she hit those snacks in that vicinity, she's going to come a running and she's going to be trapped in that vicinity. She has not figured it out yet that when I pull them snacks out, just, and sometimes I give it to her and sometimes I just don't. I just use them to get her to, where, to do what I need her to do. That's how other people are. That's how people are humans. Greed can get you caught up and you are trapped in all kinds of situations that you don't want to be in because of being greedy, you know, for money and just different kinds of things. You're just greedy and you get caught up in situations that you don't want to be in. But because you are, you have to have it. You can't go without whatever it is you got caught up getting. You can't go without it. You have to have it so you're caught. You're trapped, you know? It could be marriage. A lot of people stay with abusive spouses because the spouse has money. They don't have to work. The spouse works. He takes care of all the bills. You know, the wife, she takes care of all the bills. She comes from money. So the husband is with her, but he doesn't want to be with her. He wants to be with the poor girl down the street. But because of money, he stays in a situation that is uncomfortable for him. How many people do you know, or including yourself, have done that before? Got trapped up because of greediness, you know? Look at the industry. Look at all of these people that are wealthy millionaires that have been caught up in the Illuminati, having sex with the same, with, with you know, with the same sex to become a superstar, to become a rapper, or to become an actress or a songstress. How many people have, because of greed, they were driven to get into a situation where they are trapped. They want out now, but now you're locked up until the person decides to let you out. You know, when I give these snacks to my kitty, to my, my little kitty cat, my cat, she's where I want her to be until I decide to let her out. She screams, she hollers, she digs, she hollers, she whines, she claws, but until I let you out, She's not going anywhere. That's the same thing as, as, this, as these marriages that you don't want to be in because of money and greed, the big fine house, the cars, you know, um, relationships in the industry, even in some churches. You know, because of greed, you know, the pastor preaches what the audience want to hear. He's trapped up in telling lies, not preaching about the real things that, he, that we should know about as his flock because he wants that tithe every Sunday to pay for his Royce Royce and his mansion with the, the theater room and you know I mean greed is dangerous greed can really get you in some situations that you don't want to be in because you're just greedy because you have to have everything at that precise moment you can't say no people get poisoned Animals and human beings alike get poisoned because they're so greedy. They have to sit down. They have to eat everything that somebody sets out for you, and it could be a trap, you know? 
People have eaten food that they know somebody don't like them just to save face. I'm going to eat because I don't want to hear it. It's a gathering. It could be a gathering at church. It could be a gathering after church. You know how you have the dinners after church? And you know sister so-and-so don't like you, but you don't sat down next to sister so-and-so because you like the food that she is presenting. Not knowing that she done spit up in your rice and your potato salad and now you're eating it. Or she done put something in your food. You, greed. Greed have trapped people into a life of diabetes. Greed have trapped people into a life of high blood pressure and high cholesterol. Greed have trapped people into situations of being abused because they don't have the money, but the person that they are dealing with has the money. So now I can do whatever I want to to you because I have the money and I do what I want to do. And you listen to me. And when I'm ready to free you, I'll free you. People have been caught up in all type of situations because of greed, you know, and it's just crazy, you know, and you have to realize that you need to drive yourself. If you're in a situation and you're in a, a, a relationship that is money and that they, you're just, you know, I got to have this money. I don't want to give up my Louis Vuitton bag. I don't want to give up my five bedroom house. I don't want to give up my Mercedes or my Lamborghini, whatever it is. And you're being driven by greed. In the end, you lose anyway. Because you've been mistreated the whole time. You've been, you know, not everybody that, that I'm talking about people that's driven by greed. Not people who are legitimately happy in the situation. I'm talking about people who are driven by something that they should not be driven by. You should be driven by your own motivation to get up in the morning and have these things. Even if it means walking away from the person who can provide it for you. You know, it's not even worth it. I remember when I was married to my last husband, he made good money. He worked two jobs, but his one job, his first job, he made excellent money, okay? We had a beautiful home. We had a house. We had the beautiful cars, and it was just awesome, you know, as far as materialistic things. I walked away. I was miserable. I was unhappy, and at that I did not care about the house. I didn't care about the cars. I didn't care about anything. I left. I was working. He wasn't taking care of me. I was still contributing, but someone else had said to me, Girl, he make good money. Why are you going to leave? You know, he do this, he give you that, he does this, he buy you that. I can do them things myself. I'll find a way. With God's help, I'll find a way. If I have to work two jobs forever, God forbid, I hope I don't, I'll make sure that I have the things that I want to have before I stay with somebody because of what money they make. He made twice as much money as I did, you know? But was it worth the mental abuse that I was going through? The emotional abuse that I was going through? It wasn't worth it. At the end of the day, when I'm having headaches, my stomach hurting, I'm upset all the time, I'm nervous, we're arguing, I'm cussing him out. It's not worth it to me. But some people will hang in there. It doesn't matter. They will hang in there so they can have all the things that they want to have. You know, some women don't have to work. I know a lot of women that don't have to work. I know personally, but their husband cheat on them. They had babies on them and everything. But because of the lifestyle that this man provides for them, greed, they stay and they take it, but they cry all the time. It's not worth it. It's not worth sitting down, eating a plate of food because you're greedy, knowing that it's full of cholesterol and high blood pressure and diabetes on that plate. But because of greed, you'll rather eat the fried chicken and you'll rather eat the potato chips and eat some uh, rice and some beans and a salad because that's not the preferred food. I used to be like that. I used to be like, I don't want no salad and no yellow rice and no beans and no black eyed peas. I want the hamburger. I want the French fries dipped all in grease. I want the cupcakes and the cookies and all this stuff. That's greed. Then you get fat and then you get unhealthy. Greed. It drives us to do a lot of things. It drives people to murder. It drives people to do a whole lot of things. Rob banks. Rob stores. And I'm talking about people who are driven by greed. Who want to go out and just want to have money in their pockets. You know, they're just stealing for no reason. They just want to party. You know, greed. And that could be, in the food part is greed, gluttony. You know, and I know a lot of people like that. They just... They just 
won't and just agree. And I just thought about that this morning when I wanted Stacy to come to me so I could put her away for work. And she took off and hid. So I got the snacks out. All she heard, matter of fact, I hadn't even got the snacks out yet. She heard me open up the drawer where I kept them. She knows the sound of the drawer. I can open up certain drawers, she won't budge. But that particular drawer, and here she come around, and I had her. How many times has that happened to you, me, or anyone that you know? So stop being greedy. Do for yourself. You know, if the situation is bad and you're driven by greed, that's not a good thing. Because greed is a form of, if you're running on greed, that's a form of bondage. That you feel as though you can't make it without the other person. Or you can't make it a day without eating this specific meal. Or you're going to go to a crowded place crowded place where you know people there don't like you, but you're going to sit down and eat their food because you like what they're serving. It doesn't matter they don't like you. You like what they prepared. And you know they don't want you there. But you're driven by greed, you know? So with that being said, I'm going to say Phil Donke. That's thank you very much in German. So feel Dr. A for watching me and choose that's what? That's by in German. You all have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Wednesday and a happy hump day.